back to story time once again. Oh, well, we just caught Stinky and I. We were just having another round of hide and seek. And Stinky is a particularly good hider, I have to say. Yes, you are. Yes, you're nodding at the poppets. But I'm afraid I have a little bit of trouble finding a good uh, hiding spot. What's that, Stinky? Because my bottom's too big and always sticks out and it's in the way. Oh, Stinky, yes, I need to lay off the cream cake, I think. And perhaps go for a job. Yes, I am getting better. I have cut out a lot of sweets. But yes, it's particularly hard for me to find a good hiding spot. But Stinky, on the other hand, is very, very good at hiding, my dear Poppets. And sometimes he's there for a very long time before I find him. What's that, Stinky? Can we play hide and seek with the Poppets? Yes, I suppose we can. What's that? Can I see the Poppets? Yes, I can see the Poppets. Let me see. Yes, there's Madison and I can see Logan there. And I can see Mitchell and Cooper. Hello, Cooper dear. How are you? What's that? You like to play hide and seek, yes? I bet you're very good at playing hide and seek. Yes, well, we can um, we can have a little game of hide and seek with the poppets. So, my dear poppets, I'll count and you can hide. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, my dear poppets, here I come. Now, let me see. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, I think that's Cooper's place. Can I see Cooper? Oh, yes, I can see Cooper, Stinky. Look there. He's behind the curtain. Yes, he is behind the curtain there. Cooper, I found you, dear. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, I was very quick at finding you. And where are the other poppers? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I can see Mitchell there hiding under the table. I found you, Mitchell. What's that? Am I going to stop playing and get on with the story? Yes, I'd better get on with the story. Well, don't forget, my dear poppers, we'll continue on with that game another time, but we must crack on with today's story. So, my dear poppers, come out of your hiding place, get comfortable, and sit down ready for our story, which, of course, is a book request, my dear poppers, and it's called Peepo. A very, very cute story, I have to say, and I am looking forward to reading this one again very, very much. Yes, Peepo. And Peepo and Hide and Seek, Stinky loved playing Hide and Seek. He still does, but particularly when he was a very little mouseling. He loved playing Hide and Seek. Yes, and still does. And here we go, my dear Poppets. Here's a little baby, one, two, three. Stands in his cot, Stinky. What does he see? You ready, Stinky? Peepo. Well, there's the gorgeous little poppet there in his cot and who can he see but dad there lying fast asleep look at that and of course peepo i wonder who else this sweet little poppet can see he sees his father sleeping stinky in the big brass bed and his mother too with a hairnet on her head he sees the shadows moving on the bedroom wall and the sun at the window and his teddy stinky and his ball. Well, there's mum and dad there, my dear poppets, and they look very, very tired. I have to say they're tucked out there, fast asleep, snoring away. And the little poppet, of course, can see his mum and dad tucked up in bed. Having a bit of a lie-in, I think, yes. Very, very tired, mum and dad. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, sits in his high chair, Stinky. What does he see? Peepo! Well, there he is there, the little boy in his high chair, and Peepo, he can see mum. Yes, he's there watching his mother, Peepo. I wonder what else this dear little poppet can see. All the different things that he can see in his busy day-to-day -day life. He sees his mother pouring hot porridge in a bowl and his father in the doorway with a bucket full of coal stinky. He sees his sisters skipping in the yard outside and his grandma pegging washing on the clothesline to be dried stinky. Well, there's mum there, a very busy kitchen and she's putting some lovely hot porridge or oatmeal, if you like, in the bowls for breakfast because it's breakfast time. 
Yes, lots of little hungry tummies looking forward to some hot porridge for breakfast. Yes, and I particularly like porridge, I have to say. It's very, very good, my dear poppets, to have for breakfast because it fills you up. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, sits in his pushchair. What does he see? Peepo! Well, there he is in his pushchair and he can see his sister playing in the yard. I wonder what his sister is up to. Yes, we're just going to have to wait and see. All the different things happening, all these busy family members. He sees a bonfire smoking, pigeons in the sky, his mother cleaning windows stinky and a dog going by. He sees his sister searching for a jar or a tin to take up to the park to catch fishes in. Well, there's his two sisters there in the garden shed, my dear poppets, and they're looking for a jar or a tin to catch some fish to put in when they go to the park. There must be some fish in a pond up there, I think. They're going to have a pet fish or two, Stinky. Yes, very busy day by the look of things. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, sits on the grass. What does he see, Stinky? What does he see? Peepo, that's right, Peepo. And there he is there, sitting there at the park, a lovely sunny day enjoying sitting there in the sun watching everyone in the at the park and it is lovely to go to the park on a wonderful sunny day he sees his sisters fishing with a brown stocking net and dresses tucked in knickers and legs shiny wet he sees the tassels blowing on his grandma's shawl and the fringe on the push chair and his teddy stinky and ball well, there's Grandma there, lots of things happening there, a busy day at the park. There's children in the pond as well. Everyone's enjoying the lovely summer's day and having a smashing time at the park. How wonderful, lots of children playing and having a marvellous time. Yes, wonderful at the park, especially when you've got some good weather. Here's a little baby, one, two, three sits on his sister's lap. What does he see, Stinky? Peepo! Well, there's a sweet little poppet there having a cuddle on his big sister's lap. Although he's wriggling around just a bit, it's a little bit difficult, I think, for his sister to keep him still. As little babies do, sometimes they're very, very wriggly. And they won't sit still. He sees his grandma ironing, his father pouring tea. His other sister squabbling, she wants him on her knee, Stinky. He sees his mother dozing in the easy chair. Yes, Stinky, Mum's having a rest. And a dog in the doorway who shouldn't be there. Well, there's lots happening on this page as well. Mum's there, she's collapsed in a heap, having a nap there with a cat on her lap, I think. And what else was happening there? Oh yes, Dad's dear old Dad, he saved the day, he's pouring everyone a nice hot cup of tea. Yes, I think they're all in need of a cup of tea. And lots and lots of things happening on that page. I think everyone is very tired after their long expedition at the park. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, sits in his bathtub. What does he see? You ready, Stinky? Peepo! Oh, Peepo! And now, what can this wonderful little poppet see? Well, there's the poppet there, the lovely, sweet little baby, having a bath, having a wash, getting nice and clean in the tub. Getting nice and clean, hopefully, so he'll be sleepy and he'll go to bed. Yes, he must be very, very tired, I think, after his adventure at the park. He sees his father kneeling with his sleeves rolled up and the flannel on the table and soap in a cup. He sees his nighty warming on the oven door, his sisters in the clothes horse puddles on the floor. Well there's lots of wet washing there on the clothes dryer there or the inside clothes line. Especially if the weather is bad outside you can hang the clothes up inside to dry. Lots and lots of things happening on that page but he's still not tucked up in bed yet. 
But I do think this little pocket needs a nap because he's had such a busy day. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, on his way to bed. What does he see, Stinky? Peepo! Well, there's dear mum, of course, and he's carrying the little, little tot there up to bed. Hopefully he'll have a nap so mum can have a rest. Yes, very, very tired after his long day. Such a sweet little poppet. Oh, very, very cute indeed. He sees the landing mirror with its rainbow rim and a mother with a baby stinky just like him. He sees the bedroom door, the cot made ready, his father kissing him goodnight, his ball and his what stinky? Yes, that's right, and his teddy. Well, there's mum and dad there, and they're looking at their reflection in the mirror. Baby with his mama and his dad are there. How very, very sweet. Having a cuddle before baby goes to bed. So very cute. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, fast asleep and dreaming. What did he see? And there he is, tucked up in bed, at long last, fast asleep. The end! And that was called The Very Sweet Peepo. A very, very cute and wonderful book, I have to say, and a book request that I did enjoy reading very, very much. Yes, yeah, so what was that, Stinky? Who was the book request for? The book request was for Sarah. Yes, Sarah wanted me to read this book again. So thank you, Sarah, for this wonderful book request and the wonderful Pico, which I did enjoy reading very, very much. Well, Stinky, Hide and Seek and Pico. I think you would be getting very, very tired because you've been running around and playing Hide and Seek the most of the morning. So I think that perhaps you should have a little rest and a little lie down, don't you? Yes, good boy. Well, my dear, dear Poppets, mums and dads, thank you so much for tuning in for story time once again. Perhaps you could read a book about a sweet little Poppet and uh, who's up to lots and lots of things and seeing lots and lots of things, or perhaps you could go to the park. And as always, my dear ones, thank you for watching. Take care and until next time, bye.